Hey guys, it's me, Chris. This is the assembly of a four foot module. So first we like to lay out um, our module the way it's going to be positioned. So you have your corner couplers here. We have our length walls, our end frames, and then our vertical tubes and one-way couplers, the way it's, we're gonna position it. We find that this is the easiest way to assemble. So first we'll put our end frames into our three-way corner couplers and our length wall tubes. And then we'll screw it in. So now we're going to screw our tubes into the couplers in the corner. Remember you could use a shoe, the shoe technique. You want it nice and square later on. And remember, you don't want to come more than one and a half inches out because you'll miss the coupler. So notice how I'm going to put the screws on the insides. You want them on the insides here or here because you want this flush later on when you put your cement board on. Remember, never put screws on the finishing sides ever because you want your cement board flush throughout the whole island. Remember the shoe technique always helps. Keep it nice and square. If you don't bring it in all the way, it won't be square later on. You see how fast and easy this is? We already have the bottom end frames and length wall tubes connected to our couplers. Look how easy that was. It was really like Legos. So next we're going to put our upright vertical tubes on. We'll just slip them right in the corner couplers. Look how easy this is and fast this is. All right, now we're going to put our three-way corner couplers in. Now you want to position them the right way. Okay, we're almost done here. So now we're gonna put our length wall tube, our first one here. They slip right in. Then we'll pull our end frames. All right. And last, we'll put our last length wall tube in there before we screw everything in. Look, half the module's already almost done. Look at how easy this length wall tube slides right into the coupler. So next you're gonna wanna screw in all these end frames and length wall tubes into the three-way corners. So then you'll just repeat this same technique Screwing in here, 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 and all the rest of the corners. And then don't forget, you're going to want to screw in here as well from earlier, the vertical tubes into the three-way corner couplers here, here. Remember, keep them on the insides because the cement board later is going to be nice and flush. So now that we have most of our modules screwed in together, um, we're going to want to put in our vertical tubes. Now, Using a measuring tape and a marker, you're going to put 
the vertical tube centered on each end frame here and here. So you want them centered on each end frame. So you'll mark that. And then the non-appliance or backside, you'll want to put 16 inches in here and here. So you'll mark your 16 inches in just like we did on the bottom here and put them evenly. Now the front side or the appliance side, um, you're not going to put your vertical tubes in just yet because you'll have to map out uh, or position where you're gonna put your appliance. Now, if it's just a filler module and there are no appliances going inside, you can go ahead and do the same thing that we did on these length, wall to, uh, on these length walls on the back side and put them in 16 inches and space them out evenly. So now we're gonna install our VTs, vertical tubes. But before we do, we're gonna put our one-way couplers into the vertical tubes to make it easier for us. So now we're, we're, we're going to put the vertical tube where we made our mark on the length walls here. And remember to keep the screws on the inside. So you want to center it where you made your mark at the 16 inches. Keep it nice and center. Don't want it to move. So now you're going to repeat this all the way around with the vertical tubes that you're going to install. And then don't forget you're going to want to screw in the tops after. There are different ways you can do that. One way is you can flip the whole thing over once your vertical tubes um, are in place on the bottom. And then it'll just be easier so you can screw right in instead of having to drill from the top. When screwing into the couplers, you want to screw in as close as you can to the edge of the tube like we did here. For example, this hole that we made here is a little too far from the edge. From all the strength, you wanna go as close as the edge as you can, like this screw right here. So now that everything's screwed in, that completes assembly of our four foot module. What makes this so revolutionary and such a great product is not only the strength, the easiness, and how fast it was to put together, but notice how there are no screws on the outsides. Your cement board will sit nice and flush throughout the whole island. That's one of the biggest advantages out of plenty of them that we have over all of our competitors. This is the strongest four foot module on earth. module. Let's dig in. So first you'll have your revolutionary connect tube couplers. These are going to be the three-way corner couplers. These are what helps our product be the fastest, easiest, and strongest way to build an island. Next you'll have your 12 one-way couplers. These will go with your vertical tubes. So you have 12 of these one-way couplers. Now you'll have your pre-cut end frames, four of them. Those are for the short side of the module. And then you'll have your 10 vertical tubes. Let's see. So we got 10 of these. And lastly, you'll have your four length wall tubes. 
Now this is what's inside of a four foot module. Remember, screws are not included. We do recommend using our framing screws that we sell because they work the best with our product. And that's what you'll get inside of a four foot module. Thank you.